Originally, I was going to unbox and set up my Lord S Hydrofix Premium Edition and talk over that footage explaining some of the health benefit claims and science supporting molecular hydrogen, but the more I thought about it, there's no way to condense that much information into one video and expect people to understand it. So what I'm going to do is break this up into separate videos. This one will mostly explain the ideas behind molecular hydrogen and its therapeutic benefits, and the next will be the unboxing and setup tutorial. There will be a card in the top corner of this video that'll take you to the unboxing setup, and I'll have it linked in the description as well. So what is hydrogen and how could it be used as a health protocol? Hydrogen is a gas and is at the foundation of all living organisms. Water is mostly hydrogen, which is made from two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Most of us have heard the human body is carbon-based, yet consists of approximately 60% water. Carbon is an excellent compound builder, but our bodies only contain approximately 20% of it. Just to keep things simple, insert the word hydrogen in the place of water, which is essentially what it is, and you'll start thinking about your body in terms of amounts of hydrogen instead of carbon. Hydrogen was first discovered by Robert Boyle in 1671 and was later added to the periodic table roughly 150 years ago. Out of all 118 elements, not only is hydrogen the smallest known element in the universe containing one proton and one electron, but it also has the lowest atomic weight. When you hear the words hydrogen therapy, think of hydration at a cellular level. In other words, we're attempting to hydrate all cells within the body via inhalation. You can also drink the water, but I've heard inhaling is the most effective. This is what the Lourdes Hydrofix Premium Edition machines are designed to do. By removing the hydrogen atom from the compounding water structure, the user can breathe pure hydrogen. This makes it ideal for penetrating cell membranes, which in theory would hydrate the entire body at a cellular level over time. Keep in mind, all vaccines, prescription drugs, vitamin and nutritional supplements are temporary short-term fixes because the elements that make up those things are too big to penetrate the cell membrane. I can see right now for people who are consistently eating large amounts of junk food, fast food, animal products, drinking alcohol, sodas, or energy drinks, this machine would be absolutely worthless because the blood of the individual would constantly be overly acidic and I don't think hydrogen alone would be enough to heal anyone with those kinds of eating habits. Foods that are high in acidic properties would include sodium, aspartame, saturated fats, pork, and sugars, just to name a few, while alkaline foods are things most people try to avoid. You know, greens, fruits and vegetables, in other words, a mostly vegetarian or plant-based diet. So when you hear the word acidic, think negatively charged foods, and when you hear alkaline, think positively charged foods. Hydrogen is naturally produced in the large intestine via food digestion that is absorbed and released back into the bloodstream, just not nearly enough to outpace the Lourdes Hydrofix. Similar to a freshly cut apple that slowly begins turning brown once exposed to the air through a process called oxidation, the human body is very much in a constant struggle to maintain a balance between states of oxidation and reduction. have to breathe to live, but at the same time the air, along with other factors, slowly decays the body from the inside through the process of oxidation throughout our lives. Most of us have heard about antioxidant rich foods, but when you eat foods that have antioxidants, that means it falls within the alkaline or positive side of the nutritional spectrum and will help reduce the amount of oxidation the body is exposed to, which would increase one's overall health and longevity over time. Although, I do believe some form of balance would be better for most people than going exclusively carnivore or vegan, but that's another topic for another day. My understanding is that alkaline foods don't necessarily change the pH levels within the bloodstream, but it's just easier to think of bad foods as thickening the blood causing poor circulation compared to healthy foods thinning the blood causing proper circulation. This is one of several reasons to consider molecular hydrogen as an additional health protocol. There have been thousands of case studies all over the world using hydrogen to treat illnesses and correct certain medical conditions. Many of those studies started back in 2007 and are stronger than ever today. But still, I would only recommend hydrogen therapy for people who know their diet is more alkalized than acidic or are at least heading in that direction. If not, I think this machine would be a complete waste of time and money. There is way more information available on this subject, but hopefully I've said enough to spark your interest. 
Anyway, we will get into the unboxing, setup, review, and things to avoid when buying hydrogen products online in the next video. So until then, thanks for watching.